Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Motors Motors. Good morning. It is really early today. It's about 8.30. Uh, I couldn't sleep anymore, so I decided to wake up. Rained all last night. Pretty cool day. Now, it's a cool day, but not really a good day. It's a somber day, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, lately in the news, I don't know if the rest of the country has heard about it, but one of our NYPD Highway Patrol officers was hit by a drunk driver while on duty on a car stop. He lives here locally in the next town over in East Northport. As a result, the funeral today, uh, the wake was yesterday and the funeral is today. As a result, the entire school district has closed because uh, they go to remote learning because if you guys have been to an NYPD funeral, um, tens of thousands of police officers from around the country but mostly NYPD and the local New York area get together and come and attend the funeral. So today will be the funeral and uh, road closures, I don't need to tell you about it. Um, tens of thousands of cars parked on the lawns and stuff and uh, they're just gonna shut down the entire town. My town's a very small town in Huntington. So uh, you wouldn't be able to get out of uh, 10 block radius out of here, you know what I'm saying? So. No mower sales for today, for sure. As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna go and uh, attend the funeral, um, just to pay my respects, you know, for a fallen brother. Um, anyway, I've been selling a lot of lawnmowers lately, a lot. Uh, as a matter of fact, I broke a record the other day, selling four lawnmowers in one day. I've sold a lot of lawnmowers in a day before, but not the four different people, which is a pretty good feat, you know? So I've had a couple of these, sold one the other day for about a hundred bucks without the bag. The guy didn't need the bag, so I kept the bag. Um, this lawnmower works just fine, except for the fact that this is the one that I had a couple of episodes on, on the primer issue. It's a Briggs Quantum with a primer bulb option on it. Now, the issue with it is the carburetor on there, the left hole where the air filter base attaches onto and it's a critical point because that air filter base has a channel where the primer circuit is and that channel is a little worn every other air filter base that I have is worn because that's a big problem with the air filter base on these machines is that if you screw them the panel on too tight to the carburetor it it pushes in the channel and makes it dented. Therefore, that dent doesn't seal correctly with the gasket that's on the carburetor. As a result, when you push the primer bulb, air leaks out and it doesn't push gas to where it needs to be. Because the, the, the hole to the carburetor is stripped, you can't get a screw in there tight enough to make that seal. So as a result, while you push the primer bulb 100 times, it still doesn't prime but the engine runs good. For me to get this engine running right, I would need a brand new air filter base with the primer bulb on it, and probably a new carburetor. But nevertheless, somebody wants to see it, and I have to get it ready for sale. Um, so my only option is to <laughs> do an engine swap. Well, I've got a lot of extra engines. Not a lot, but a, a lot of crappy mowers with good engines on them, right? This, as you know, I've done a couple of uh, swaps on this already, and this uh, lousy Toro recycler mower, it's just a push mower, I've taken the transmission out because it was Dunsky. The wheels are from another Toro recycler that is uh, bald. So this is like a parts donor mower. This is also the engine that wouldn't start until I sprayed seafoam in there and loosened up the valves. So now it runs right, and it's an auto choke. Let's see. It's been sitting in my uh, shed for about two weeks. It does smoke a little bit, but let's see if it let's see if it burns off. You know what I mean? Okay, so a lot of smoke comes out of here, and I remembered why. The reason why is because I I shot a ton of sea foam into the uh, spark plug hole to loosen up the valves and to allow it to seat better. Uh, whatever was stuck in there that prevented it from starting, 
now it starts very reliably every time. It's a good engine. I just have to burn out the smoke. So what my plan is, I'm gonna take this engine and put it on this one so it works. Put the top cover on and everything so that it looks exactly the way it is, except it works with an auto choke. So I'm gonna take that engine off and put it on this. Basic engine swap. It's a push mower, so no pulleys to worry about for the propulsion. So as you guys saw from time lapse, um, I removed the good engine off of here fine, which was the most important part of it. But to remove the old engine, the one that has the primer problem, right? One of the three bolts would not budge and I knew I was gonna strip it. So I took extra care in attempting to not strip it or break the bolt. I actually used penetrating oil on there, let it soak for a bit. I then heated it up with a blowtorch and then sprayed immediately the penetrating oil to let it shock it basically. Used a breaker bar and I knew it was gonna happen. You feel it, you know, as you're using breaker bar and you're turning it like this, you wanna go back again and then back again and back again just to kind of loosen it up. And then I just felt it kind of just giving, you know, and boom, came right off. So not only does this engine have a primer problem carburetor hole, strip hole problem, uh, <laughs> primer bulb choking, uh, primer bulb channel seal problem. It is a good engine, it just needs a new carburetor, a new air filter base and drill out the hole that now has a bolt in it, you know. But this is like a parts machine, so that's what you do with parts machines is you use it for parts, you know. I suppose you could put it together and make a good mower out of it, but it does look like hell, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, this one, uh, I, I started it up, runs great. It just needs to burn off the extra sea foam that's in the combustion chamber. And then uh, I was looking at the wheels and it's like really wobbly, you know what I mean? Really wobbly and there's a lot of play. This hole over the years has rubbed out all the plastic, you know? So the hole is a lot bigger than the stem. The stem itself is in okay shape, you know what I mean? It's not really rubbed out. It's just that the wheels are, you know, the hole's too big. If I had a sleeve that went in there, it would take up the space and not wobble as much, but um, I don't have a sleeve. I could put a washer there, but that would, 
that would prevent the smooth turning of the wheel, which defeats the entire purpose. So I'm gonna go look in the backyard for some extra wheels. I doubt that I have these, you know, but I'll try to see anyway. about uh, three to five minutes and uh, all the smoke has burned off and um, it runs really well um, I did change the front wheels so it wobbles less these are Murray wheels I'm gonna give the guy the original wheels if he wants it but uh, everything seems to be a-okay to sell I listed it for 125 hopefully I'll get 80 to 100 for it which I'm fine with it's a good mower anyway it's a quick fix on this uh, see you guys next time on mowers and blokes you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.